continuing to field questions for us simile i have a student who's asking about how to make a very streamlined step two schedule obviously very general question i've made loads of clips here on the youtube under the exam guidance playlist on how to prep for step two uh, but i'll give you a very updated consolidated clip here as far as how can you prep most effectively and concisely if you're a post-grad, as well as if you're on rotations, okay? Because the prep trajectory is gonna be very different. Once again, I'm gonna keep this consolidated, not make this a 46 minute clip. So before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like, I really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical, links down below. Find me on Telegram. The links to the Telegram group and channel are down below, not start the clip. So in terms of step two prep, Either you're a post-grad and you can just study for EG three to six months, et cetera, straight, or you're on rotation. It's going to be a bit, a bit more protracted. You're going to be doing things more subject-specific alongside your shelf study. Now, it's quicker to just uh, discuss the post-grad route, which is you need to knock out UWorld. It's about 4,100 questions at the time of this clip, June 2022. It's going to be based on whether you do 40 to 80 per day. 40, a bit too slow. I would say up at 60 to 80, really. Okay, I've made lots of clips on how many questions per day you should do in QBank. But if you do, let's say, about 60 questions per day in UWorld, take you maybe about 10 weeks-ish to get through the QBank. 80 questions per day, obviously less. The point is, you're looking at two to two and a half plus months to get through UWorld, okay? And that's if you work every single day. After you finish UWorld, you're going to go into the Clinical Mastery Series questions, the NBME subject specific forms. Okay, they're exactly the same as the NBME uh, full length forms, just in subject specific mode. Okay, so PEDS, OBS, GYN, surgery, etc. There's uh, 44 forms, and you're going to do two per day. So it's about three weeks, right? 22 days. So roughly three weeks. So you've done UWorld for two to two and a half plus months, and you got three weeks of the Clinical Mastery Series. Then you're going to do uh, NBME six through eight, the offline two CK forms as well as free 120. Now this is where it gets a little bit, uh, not tricky, but there's there's obviously different pivot points at different points in time, depending on the student and what type of score he or she's looking for in his or her timeline and constraints. But after you finish what I just said, you can either go straight into NBMEs nine through 11, especially if you're the online form, especially if you're content with your score, or if you're not content with your score, you really want to try to just get a, a boost, an even higher score, we can go after 6 through 8 and free 120, we can go back into the CMS review again, okay? People talk about this notion of doing UWorld twice, which is a terrible fucking idea. We're going to do the CMS forms twice, okay? I mean, that's the NBME material. So you could do that a second time, the 44 forms, another three weeks. It's not that long. And then you go into NBMEs 9 through 11, okay? And then you set the real deal. And that's how you can really streamline your prep. If you're on rotations, obviously you're gonna do UWorld for each shelf. You're gonna do the clinical mastery series questions for each shelf, okay? And then for both trajectories, you're obviously gonna go through my high yield PDFs that are for free on my website, PEDS, Ops and Guide, et cetera. You're gonna go through my audio cue bank here on the YouTube by playlist. Okay, once again, the different subjects you can easily sort by. So that's essentially your streamlined prep for step two. All right, now, normally I do sessions with people and we talk about things in more detail, okay? But when we talk about broad umbrella statements for the overwhelming majority of students, that's a consolidated, uh, generalized framework. You know the deal, I'm going to continue to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.